We bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God in the highest this morning. We worship you, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. We honor your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We lift you up and high, Jesus. We exalt your name, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. 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 Hosanna in the highest this morning. You are worthy of our praise. 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 We praise you this morning. We praise you this morning. We praise you. We praise you. We glorify you. We honor you. And we worship you this morning. You are the King of glory this morning. You are the Holy One of Israel. So we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. 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 We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. For Oh, 
Father, we praise you this morning. Father, we glorify you and we honor you this morning. You are our hope. You are our strength. You are our peace. You are our help in the time of trouble. You are our deliverer. You are our comforter this morning. So we come at the altar of sacrifice and we lay our burdens, we lay our anxieties, we lay our fears, we lay our troubles. Because you tell us that what the altar is for this morning. So as we come as your children, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you will forgive us of our sins. That you will cleanse us this morning from all unrighteousness. That you will create in us this morning a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a right spirit within us this morning. Father, I put, O oh God, the support team this morning before you this morning. I pray for oneness this morning. I pray, God, that worshiping my God will be easy, Almighty God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch their vocal cord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I pray for the musicians this morning. I pray, oh God, that they will continue to play under the anointing of the Holy Spirit this morning. In the name of Jesus, God, I bring myself this morning. I pray, God, that it will not be me, but it will be uh, the Christ that will live it within me. Let it be uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit that will lead us to the God uh, in praise and worship. That today, God, uh, will be a day that our eyes and eyes uh, never hold and see before this morning. Uh, I pray for those that are sick in body. Uh, I pray, God, this morning for your divine healing for them, God. Uh, a healing, Lord, that they will testify, oh God, uh, about your goodness this morning. I pray, oh God, for the offering and the one that will bring forth your word, my God. I pray, God, that your word will come forth with power and clarity in the name of Jesus. God, I bring everything, oh God, that will want to take place in this house this morning before your mighty God. You have your way. Let self not be seen, but let we see the presence of the Holy Spirit move in this place this morning. I come against principalities and power, rule of darkness, spiritual wickedness uh, in high places, everything uh, that will want to exalt itself among the knowledge of God today, uh, we come against it in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for showing up into the service. Uh, we thank you, oh God, for divine safety, oh God, uh, for those that are going to come this morning, God, Father, bring them in your house this morning safely as we come to lift you up, uh, as we come to give you praise, uh, as we come to glorify you, God. It's not about us, God. It's all about you this morning, mighty God. Touch your people today, God. I pray, God, whatever they come to receive today, that they will receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I am that, that hem of his and his blood has made me Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, yes, it is Jesus. 
God. Thank you, God. Can we give God some praise? Can we give him some praise? Can we give God some praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace of sweet song. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. He paid the debt I could not pay. I owe the debt I did not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Oh, he paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I needed someone oh, to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. How sweet the sun, Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. Oh, he paid the debt, he paid the debt, I could not pay. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone oh, to wash my sins away. Oh, and now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace, how sweet the song. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Oh, he paid the debt. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. 
someone oh, to wash my sin away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. Oh, my Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. My Jesus, my Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. My Jesus, my Jesus paid the debt that I could never be. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. And I could not pay. But I needed someone who washed my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace, how sweet that song. Christ Jesus, He paid the debt that I could never be. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe that debt. But I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I say. A brand new song, amazing grace, how sweet the sun, Christ Jesus, we pay the debt that I could never Christ Jesus, he paid my debt. That I could never be. Hallelujah. My Jesus paid my debt. That I could never be. Glory. My Jesus, he paid the debt. That I could never be. Our oh, Jesus, you see, he paid. That I could never be. Our oh, Jesus, you see, he paid. That I could never be. Our oh, Jesus, you see, he paid. That I could never be. That I could never be. My, My Jesus, He paid our debt. That, 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 that I could never be. That enough to give Him thanks. That enough to give Him praise. That enough to give him glory. My Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. My 
that Jesus paid the debt that I could ever pay. If we have to pay money to Jesus for every time we messed up, we couldn't pay it. If we had to pay for every time that we sin, we couldn't pay it. But my Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Oh, my Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. Can we just say thank you, Jesus, for paying my debt? Thank you, Jesus, for paying my debt. Thank you, Jesus, for paying my debt. He paid the debt. He did not owe. I owe the debt. But I could not pay. But I needed someone. Who wash my sins away? But now I sing a brand new song. I may say grace. How sweet that sound. Christ Jesus. Pay the debt that I could never pay. For me, Jesus, pay the debt that I could never pay. Master God, pay. That, that I could never pay. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My Jesus, he paid the debt that, that I could never could Hallelujah. Chew it all. Chew it all. As I long to trust in Jesus. And I have learned to trust in God. To it all, to it all, I've learned to depend upon His word. Oh, let's sing it, saints of God. To it all, oh, to it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. Oh, to it all. Oh, to it all. I've learned to depend upon His word. Let's sing it, saints of God. To it all. We are dependent on Him. To it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus, and I've learned to trust in God. Oh, 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 oh. do it all. Well, I must be good, I must take it in. Do it all. I've learned to depend upon His word. Oh, do it all. Oh, thank you, God. We thank you. Do it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. Oh, 
Jesus, and I've learned to trust in God. Oh yeah, do it all. I'm gonna trust in my God. Do it all. I've learned to depend upon His word. Do it all, saints of God. Do it all. Oh, do it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus, and I've learned to trust in God. Do it all. Oh. Through it all, I've learned to depend upon His word. Oh, through it all, through it all, oh, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus, and I've learned to trust in God. Through it all. Can we just wave our hands to heaven? If you're trusting in your God and you're learning to depend on him, can we just wave our hands to heaven and say, God, I'm going to trust in you. God, I'm going to wait on you. God, I'm going to trust in you. I'm going to trust in you. We bow down and worship Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. We bow down, we bow down and worship. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Saints of God, we bow down, we bow down and worship Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, we bow and worship, we bow down and worship, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, we bow and worship, we bow down, and worship, oh yeah, Yahweh, oh we worship you, Yahweh, oh we worship you, Yahweh, oh we worship, Yahweh, we worship, we worship, we bow down. Oh, we bow to you, God, and because you are the King of Glory. Yahweh, you are the Holy One of Israel. Yahweh, you are the conquering line, the tribe of Judah. Yahweh, you are El Shaddai, and we worship you this morning. Yahweh, we bow and we worship. We bow down. Oh, we worship you this morning. And worship. Oh, we Hallelujah. worship you, God. Yahweh. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Yahweh. Lord, we worship you, Lord. Yahweh. 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 Yahweh, 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 we call him, Yahweh, oh, we call him Yahweh, 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 
Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh, and we bow and we worship. We bow down and worship. Oh, we bless you, we bless you in this Yahweh. place. We bless you in this place this morning. Yahweh. We bless you in this place and we reverence Yahweh. you, God. Oh, we reverence you, God. Yahweh. We humble bow and worship. We bow down. Ah, we worship. And worship. Ah, we worship you, God. Yahweh. Oh, we worship you, God. Yahweh. Yahweh. We worship you, Lord. Yahweh. We're just going to let the musician play. And we're going to worship God. We're going to tell him who he is this morning. Tell him who he is to you. Tell him why you worship him this morning. We worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. You are Yahweh this morning. You are the conquering lion, the tribe of Judah. You are the chain breaker this morning. You are the holy one of Israel. We bless your name because you are El Shaddai. We worship you because you are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Illinois. You are the king of glory. You are the mighty God. The everlasting father, the prince of peace. The holy one of Israel. You still break chain this morning. You are the miracle walking God. You are the dead raiser this morning. You are the God that speak life this morning. You are the God that turn water into wine. So we bless your name this morning. And we exalt your name. And we lift you up. Can we lift up our God? Let's lift up our God with praise. Let's lift up his name this morning. He said if he be lifted up, he are going to draw men. So we lift up your name this morning, Yahweh. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, we magnify you, God. We exalt your holy name. Oh, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Down and worship Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Let's put our hands together, clap them in the house of God. Clap them unto your God this morning. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Holy Lord, serve the Lord. Come before his presence with singing. Knowing that the Lord, he's our God. It is him that had made us this morning. Yahweh. 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 Yahweh, 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 glory, hallelujah. Yahweh, Yahweh, you. Ah, 
agar your holy and righteous you are God you Somebody want to tell him he's God this morning. You are God. Can we tell him he's God? He's God. He's God. He's God. You're holy and righteous. You are God. You are God. Can we tell him he's got sense of God? You are God. You're holy and righteous. You Because he's our reigning king and he's our God this morning. And we want to thank him. 
and we want to praise him and glorify him this morning. We honor you this morning, God, because you are God, and there is none like you, God, and there is none compared unto you. So we lift up your name this morning, El Shaddai, and we praise you, and we glorify you, and we tell you, you are God. Oh, 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 oh. You're holy and righteous. You are God. You are God. You are God. You're, You're holy, holy and righteous. Hallelujah. 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 You're holy and you are righteous. For you are God. You are God. Thank you. Thank you for being God. Thank you for being God. If we have our Bibles, I'm going to ask you to turn with me to Psalms 122. If you don't have your Bible, whatever iPhone, whatever form of phone Bible you have, those of us that can stand, I'm asking us to stand in the house of God for the reading of the word. Psalms 1. 22. Praise the name of Jesus. When you find it, say amen. Praise God. I was glad when they say unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gate, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that compact together. Whether the tribe go up, the tribe of the Lord, upon the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set throne of judgment, the throne of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within the walls, and prosperity within thy place. For my brethren and compassion sake, I will now say peace be with thee because of the house of the Lord our God. I will see thy good. We honor the reading of the word of God by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning now and it shall be world without end. Amen. Amen. Are we glad that we are in the house of God? David said I was glad when they say unto me let us go into the house of the Lord because there is something about when we come in to the house of the Lord when we come together and we lift up the name of God things must happen atmosphere must shift life must be changed when we come together there is a difference when we come into the house of the Lord than when we go into the bingo hall when we come into the house of God God get praise we get deliverance so it's a good thing to be into the house of God so because you are in the house of God can you give God some praise this morning because you are in the house of God can you give God praise this morning glory be to God Glory be to God, though the battle may be hot and the conflict roll. Though rocky the road as we travel along, hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word 
and he will carry you to right you to the promised land. Though the battle may be hard and the conflict so though rocky the road as we travel along, hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He will carry you through, right through to the promised land. And the battle may be hard, oh yes, and the conflict so. Don't rock it the road as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's going to carry you through, right through to the promised land. Can we clap our hands and we're going to sing. Clap them unto the Lord this morning. Oh, we're going to clap our hands and make a joyful noise into the house of God this morning. Our battle may be hot this morning, but God is still able this morning. We are going to hold on to Jesus and we are going to take him at his word. His promises are yea and amen this morning. New to the promised land. And though the battle may be hard, oh yes, and the conflict so, oh, don't rock it the road, oh, as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's gonna carry us through, right through to the promise. Oh, though the battle may be hot, though the battle may be hot. Oh, yes. And the conflict, though. Oh, don't rock it the road. Oh, as we travel alone. Hold on a little longer. It could have been sick. Jesus had his word. He's gonna carry you through, right through to the promised land. Oh, the battle may be hard. Oh, yeah. And the conflict so. Don't rock it the road. As we travel alone. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He will carry you through, right through to the promised land. We're going to go around and fellowship. Oh, Tell somebody, hold on. Hard. And the conflict so Let's go around and fellowship. Reach somebody in the name of Jesus. As we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He will carry you through, right through to the promised land. Though the battle may be hard, the battle may be hard, oh, yeah. and the conflict so Don't rock it the road as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He will carry you through, right through to the promised land. Though the battle may be hard, oh, the battle may be hard, oh yes, and the conflict so, oh yeah, though rocky the road, as we travel along, hold on a little longer, take Jesus at his word, he will carry you through, Right you to the promised land. Oh, the battle may be hard. Oh, the battle may be hard. Oh, yes. And, and the, the conflict, conflict so Don't rock it the road as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's going to carry us through. Right you to the promised land. Oh, the battle may be
right through to the promised land. You do the battle may be hard and the conflict so Don't rock in the road as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He gotta carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's gonna carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He will carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Children of God, hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's gonna carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's gonna carry you through. Right through. To the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. Rabba Sukoto no Bosekia. He's gonna carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. He's gonna carry you through. Right through to the promised land. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus. Word. You gotta we'll carry you through, right through to the promised land. Oh, hold on a little longer. Yeah. Take Jesus at His word. You gotta carry you through, right through to the promised land. I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it through. I made it through. And I can't tell how I did it. I made it through. And I don't know how I did it. But one thing I know. Jehovah took it over. And that is how I made it through. I made it through. And I don't know how I did it. I made it through. And I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took okay. it over, and that is how I made it through. I made it through, I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it through. I made it through, I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it through. I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. One thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it true. You could clap your hands if you don't I made it true, and I don't know how I did it. I made it true, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, and that is how I made it true. Sing it again now. I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over, 
And that is how I made it through. I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over. And that is how I made it through. One more time. I made it through, and I don't know how I did it. I made it through, and I can't tell how I did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over. And that is how I made it through. Can we just clap our hands and give God praise? Come on and give him praise. The song says, I made it through. Can we just put it back up again? Praise God. I made it through. And I don't know how I did it. I made it through. And I can't tell how I did it. But one thing for sure, one thing I know, is that Jehovah took it over. Praise God. Can I say that again? But one thing I know for sure, let's say I know for sure, is that Jehovah took it over. Can we say that again? But one thing I know, this is, this is what I know for sure, because it was not of my own strength why I did it. It was, it was not because of any good thing that I've done. It's not because I deserved it. But one thing I know is that Jehovah, Jehovah took it over. And that is how I made it through. Many of us would not even be here if Jehovah didn't take it over. Can someone give him praise for that? Many of us would not even be here if Jehovah, can I say that again? Many of us would not be here if Jehovah, can I say that again? Many of us would not be here. I would not be here if Jehovah didn't take it over. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Do we come to give God praise today? Do we come to worship him? Praise God. When we were in our prayer meeting yesterday, God took over. Praise God. And there was a spirit. Praise God. Of prayer and worship. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. Come on and glorify his name. Hallelujah. How many know he is the king of kings? And he is the Lord of lords. Mm -hmm. Praise team. Can you say mm -hmm. Come on everybody say mm -hmm. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the King. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, oh, he is the king, he is the king of kings, he is the Lord of Lord. his name is Jesus, 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 oh, he is the king. Come on and clap your hands and give him praise. Praise God. Are we serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Bless the name of Jesus. His name is Jesus. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Can somebody call his name? Can somebody Jesus. say Jesus? Jesus? Can someone say Jesus? Jesus. Praise God. I, I can't hear you. Can somebody Jesus. call his name? Jesus. I want you to call him. 
as if your life depended on it. Come on now, he is the king. We're going to say Jesus. Can someone say Jesus? Jesus? Jesus! Come on and call his name like your life depended on it. Jesus! Jesus! Like you're calling for help, amen? You can't call Jesus, but you got to say, Jesus! You got to call his name and let it ring out. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord. His name is Jesus, 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 oh, he is the king, come on now, he is the king of kings, he is the Lord of Lord. his name is Jesus, 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 oh, he is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus. 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 Oh, he is the king. Come on and give him praise. If you have something, praise God. Just wave it. Praise God like a banner to God. Come on and just wave it. Hallelujah. Come on and just wave it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We are worshiping our God, King of Kings. Praise God. In some religions, they worship many gods for many different things. Praise God. There is a God of fertility. God of agriculture. Praise God. There's probably a female God. There's a male God. But we serve one true God who encompasses all of that. Praise God. We don't have to serve a separate God for different things. But we serve one God. Praise God. Who encompasses all those things. So we don't have to go to this God for that. We don't have to go to that God for that. We don't have to go to this God for health. We don't have to go to this God for wealth. We don't have to go to this God for fertility. We don't have to go to this God because we want financial blessings. But we have one God who covers it all. Praise God. He is the all-encompassing God. Comprehension. Praise God. If you ever buy car insurance, praise God, you get liability. You get accident benefits. It's called third party. But if you want full coverage, you need collision. Just in case you get into an accident and it's your fault, you're covered. You need comprehension as well. Just in case someone steals your car. Just in case your car catches on fire, you're covered. That's the God that we serve. Praise God. I don't know why we're not worshiping him like we're going crazy because my goodness, that's the God we serve. We don't have to go to multiple gods. We don't have to go to different temples. But we come into the house of the one true and living God. He's not dead. We don't serve a dead God. I've never known someone. Why would you pray something that's dead? Praise God. Praise the living. He's a living God. And he said, they that worship him must. He didn't say maybe. He didn't say so-so. He didn't say if you want to. He said you, you must. You have no other alternative. Because if you don't praise him now, if you don't worship him now, scripture tells us that every knee is going to bow. Whether you want to, yes or no, your knee is going to have to bow. So why not bow now? Why not worship him now? Why not store it up now? Don't wait to do it. Do it now. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless God. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 
You know what I learned a long time ago? I can't focus on other people to give God praise. I know what God has done for me. So I praise him anyways. Praise God. Because if I rely on other people, praise God, I will never move. But I give him praise because I know what God has done for me. Praise God. If you don't want to praise him, just move out of the way and let me praise my God. Hallelujah. Just move out of the way. Praise God. As a son said, just give me pass and let me praise my God. Hallelujah. So don't be shy about praising him. Praise God. Don't be coy about praising him. But praise him as your life depends on it. He is the author and the finisher. He said, I am the alpha. I am the omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the first. I am the last. And you know what else? He is everything in between. And when this life is over, who do you want to spend your eternity with? I want to spend my eternity with my Savior. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. 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 Oh, he is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. 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 Oh, he is the king. Last time, and let's take it home. He is the king. Of King, he is the Lord of Lord. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh. Oh. He is the King. Hallelujah. Bless God. Come on and give him praise. Jesus. Come on and give him praise. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Bless the Lord. Hey. Hey, hey, bless the Lord, Adam, oh, see, oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, God, we bless you. Oh, God, we worship you. Oh, God, you are lovely. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. Oh, God, we magnify your holy, righteous everlasting name blessed be the name of Jesus blessed be the name of Jesus your name is powerful your name is healing your name is life you break every stronghold you shine through the darkness we bless the name of Jesus can we just take a moment to bless the Lord? Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, we worship your name, Lord. Oh, we worship your name, Lord. Mm, you're worthy to be praised. Oh, you are worthy to be Oh, we bless you, Lord. Mm, you're worthy, Lord. Mm, you're worthy, Lord. Mm, you're worthy, Lord. Glory mm, mm, to the name of Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the going down of Satan. Glory, glory, glory. 
Glory, 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 glory. Mm, you worship your name. Mm, you worship your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, bless God. Yahweh, Yahweh. We
sing it timely now. We bow down. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. It's time to worship Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. It's time. To worship, it's time to worship, time to worship. Yahweh. Just allow the Spirit, Yahweh. Allow the Holy Spirit to move. Just get out of His way and let Him move. Just get out of His way. That's all I want. Just get out of my way. Let me just move. I want to move, but you have to get out of my way. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, can we say it again? Uh, we're saying Yahweh. 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 Just close your eyes and think of Yahweh, 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 oh, Yahweh, Yahweh, oh, Yahweh, 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 oh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 He's Yahweh, the way maker, Yahweh, the bridge over troubled waters, praise God, Yahweh, creator of all things both great and small, Yahweh, Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh. He raises up kings. Yahweh. He brings down kings and kingdoms. Yahweh. He is the potter and we are the clay. Yahweh. He is our refuge, the Yahweh. pillar that holds our life, the chief cornerstone, the firm foundation. Yahweh, 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 Just the music, shh, just let it be. Come on and talk to your God. Come on and commune with your God. Bless the name of Jesus. Don't 
want you. He's here. He's here. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. And we come and we have gathered to worship him. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. I can imagine in the upper room said that they were all in one accord. And when the spirit moved, it said it was like cloven tongues of fire that rested upon each one of them. And they began to speak. They began to speak as the spirit gave them utterance.
Bless God. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If you can be seated in the house of God, if not, you can just go ahead and worship God. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Room. Bless the name, bless the name. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, we bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh God, you are worthy. Oh God, we bless your name. Oh God, we worship you. Oh, we worship the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless God. Hallelujah. Welcome again. Praise God to our Women's Sunday here at Faith United Ministries. The presence of the Lord is here. Spirit of the Lord is here. We come to worship him. We come to praise him. We come to glorify his name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. So bless the name of Jesus. So bless the name, the name, the name of Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead Trinity. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless God. Welcome again. Praise God on behalf of our bishop, the Reverend Dr. Kenneth Fuller, First Lady Marjorie Fuller, the body here at Fifth United Ministries, we welcome you. We welcome Kiefer Brooks, Praise God who has graced us with his presence, who is invited by Sister Roxanne. God bless you, Kiefer. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And for all of our visitors, family, friends, we welcome you. There is something awesome when you are in the presence of a living God. When you're so saturated, there is something that trans you, you can't help but be transformed. You cannot help when you encounter Jesus, you can't leave the same way that you came. There's just no possible way. Or else his coming would have been in vain. Amen? There has to be a transformation. There must be 
a transformation. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. There is a sweet, sweet spirit. Praise God. Amen. In the atmosphere, this is holy ground. Can I say that again? This is holy ground. And when we begin to reverence, it comes with reverence and honoring and hallowing the name of God. So when we come into the house of God, it's not a fun house. It's not a joke. But the highest respect and honor and reverence be given to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's who we come to worship. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. This Saturday which is the 24th of February. Praise God will be the home going and celebration of our dear beloved Deacon Bertram Williams. Bless the name of Jesus. And we're gonna come together to honor this man of God, amen? Praise God. The viewing this Saturday will be at 9, from 9 to 10 a.m. There will be no viewing in the week, but we will come. If you want to come, come from 9 to 10 for the viewing. And the service will begin at 10 a.m. this Saturday, right here at Faith United Ministries. 10 a.m. this Saturday. Praise God. Let us come together. Amen. Praise God. He was one of many trailblazers, pillars, praise God, of this church. And I give respect to him. I give respect to him. Praise God. Respect to him. A man of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Remember as well on March 10th, Sunday, March 10th, praise God, we have a full service, will be our ordination, hands of fellowship, installation as well, amen, upgrades, let us come together, Sunday, March the 10th, praise God, service begins at 11 a.m., put it in your calendar, invite someone and let's come together, amen, it's going to be a wonderful wonderful time in the Lord. Remember also our services. Let us just come and join together. Amen. Hear the word of God. Praise God. And I, and this woman Sunday, I want to call out minister Ferlina Burke. She's doing such an inspirational work here on our Wednesdays, teaching us on Wednesdays. The passion, if you hear her, she has such a passion. You can't fake that. Can I say that again? You can't fake that. You can't fake that. It's from the heart and it's genuine and it's real. And when she stands, to teach. She teaches. She gives you the biblical knowledge, but she gives you personal experience coupled with that so you can relate. Amen? Amen. So this Woman Sunday, respect <laughs> Minister Burke and our women's leaders as well. Praise God. Minister Maureen Smith, Minister Marilyn Hall, Sister Avita Donaldson, Praise God. Respect to the women of God who stand to lead the women's ministry here at Faith United. Praise God. Yes, we can stand and we can clap for our women's leaders. Amen. We should be standing and clapping for our women's leaders. Praise God. They're doing a wonderful work. So respect to our women's leaders and the work 
that they are doing. God bless you, women of God. God bless you, women of God. God bless you, women of God. Praise God. I love to worship God. I love to praise God. Does anyone love to worship God? Does anyone love to praise God? I love to worship and I love to praise God. And you know, every week we've been speaking on, praise God, someone influential. This is Black History Month. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. And there have been many women who have blazed the trail for us as women. Amen. There was a time, praise God, as black women, we were relegated to a position that was so low. So low. We were not even acknowledged. Amen. And we're continuously compared with others, but we are different. We are special. There's something about the black woman. Women in general, but black women. I'm a black woman, so I have to, I'm a black woman. So I have to hail up my black sisters, amen? I have to hail up my black sisters. Because in a time, we're putting each other down and we should not do that. We gotta big up our sisters, especially in the house of God. Big up your sisters. Tell them something. Tell them you love them. Tell them that they're doing a wonderful work. Don't cut them down. If they do something wrong, go to them. And in love, speak to them. But big up your sister. Big up your sister. Can I say that again? Big up your sister. Don't cut her down. Lift her up. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Rejoice with her. Cry with her. Sing with her. Laugh with her. Be happy for your sister. Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Renowned poet, actress, social commentator, comedian, folklorist, and singer, Louise Bennett Coverley, or Miss Lou, was a beloved Jamaican who for over 50 years made significant contributions to Jamaican theater, music, culture, and literature. She wrote and performed her poems in Jamaican patois or Creole. She worked to preserve the practice of presenting poetry, folk songs, and stories in patois, creating the validity of local languages for literary expression. Louise Bennett was born on September 7, 1919 on North Street in Kingston, Jamaica. She attended elementary school at Ebenezer and Calabar, continuing to St. Simon's College and Excelsior College in Kingston. In 1943, she enrolled at Friends College in Highgate, St. Mary, where she studied Jamaican folklore. That same year, her poetry was first published in the Sunday Gleaner. In 1945, Bennett was the first black student to study at London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in England on a British Council scholarship. After graduating from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, Bennett worked with repertory companies in Coventry, Huddersfield, and Amersham, as well as in intimate reviews across England. During her time in England, she hosted two radio programs for the BBC, Caribbean Carnival from 1945 to 1946, 
and West Indian Night in 1950. She worked for the Jamaica Social Welfare Commission from 1955 to 1959 and taught folklore and drama at the University of the West Indies. From 1965 to 1982, she produced Miss Lou's Views, a series of radio monologues, and in 1970 started hosting the children's television program, Ring Ding. The show was based on Bennett's belief that the children learn about their heritage. As part of the program, children from across the country were invited to share their artistic talents. Bennett also appeared in various motion pictures, including Calypso in 1958 and Club Paradise in 1986. Bennett wrote several books on poetry in Jamaican Patois, helping to have Patois recognized as a national language. Her work influenced other writers to adopt its use in a similar manner to their writings. She also released many recordings of traditional Jamaican folk music and recordings from her radio shows, including Jamaican folk songs, children's Jamaican songs and games, Miss Lou's Views in 1967, Listen to Louise, 1968, Cara Fasta Ring Ding, 1976, and The Honorable Miss Lou. She is credited with giving Harry Belafonte the foundation for his 1965 hit song, Dale. We all know that song the Banana Boat Song, by telling him about the Jamaican folk song, Hill and Gully Rider. In 1954, she married Eric Winston Coverley, an early performer and promoter of Jamaican theater, and they raised many children, including her stepson and an adopted daughters. They were married until his passing in 2002. Bennett and her husband migrated in 1987 to Canada and lived in Scarborough, Ontario. She passed away on July 26 of 2006. A memorial service was held in her honor in Toronto on August 3rd, 2006, after which her body was flown to Jamaica to lie in state at the National Arena on August 7th and 8th. Her final resting places is in the National Heroes Park in Kingston, Jamaica, alongside her husband. Louise Bennett received many awards, including the Order of Merit, Member of the British Empire, an Honorable Doctorate of Literature from the University of the West Indies, Silver and Gold Musgrave Medals from the Institute of Jamaica, and the Norman Manley Award for Excellence in the Arts. In a tribute written by Karina Meeks, the former executive director of the Agency for Public Information, now the Jamaica Information Services for the Public Relations Society of Jamaica, she described Lewis Bennett as thus, from time to time in the history of a nation, there emerges someone on the national scene who seems to embody the very psyche of its people, capable of distilling, interpreting, and expressing its collective wisdom, its hopes and its aspirations, its strengths as well as its weaknesses. In Jamaica, Louise Bennett is such a person. Bennett has also been praised as an inspiration to Jamaicans as she proudly presented the Jamaican language and culture to a wider world, and today we are the beneficiaries of that audacity. An important aspect of her writing was it was set in public spaces such as trams, schools, and churches, which allows readers to see themselves pre- and post-independence reflected in her work. Her writing has also been credited with providing a unique perspective on the everyday social experiences of working class women in a post 
colonial landscape. Good morning. This morning I have the honor of reading um, a short excerpt of one of Miss Lou's stories. Um, and you all just thank God that I got it in English and not in Patois. <laughs> so that I won't butcher it. It's called Anansi and Tiger in the Pit. Anansi heard Tiger roaring. He looked around. There was Tiger trapped in a deep pit. Tiger was leaping and jumping and trying to escape. Anansi looked down and smiled. Hello, Tiger, he said. Having trouble down there? That made Tiger mad. Inch by inch, he started clawing his way up the pit. You can do it, Tiger, Anansi shouted. Come on, come on. Near the top, Tiger gasped. No more strength. <laughs> Just pray, said Anansi. Put your paws together and pray for strength. And when Tiger put his paws together, he slid all the way back down. Anansi ran off laughing. Praise God. So on this Women's Sunday, we pay tribute to Louise Simone Bennett Coverly, a trailblazer who paved the way for many and who will forever be lovingly known as the incomparable and larger than life, Miss Lou. Thank you. Praise God. Can we just bless the Lord? Can we bless the Lord? Praise God. Praise God. Can we give God praise? Praise God. We, we praise God for people like Miss Lou who help. Praise God. She helped to put Jamaica, not that it wasn't on the map, to enhance the arts and the culture that is Jamaica, amen, and the Caribbean. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God at this time. Praise God. Let's just stand to our feet at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we just worship God? We have a prayer request. Let us just say in a spirit of worship. And then we're going to enter into another part of worship, and that is giving and blessing the Lord. Praise God. Can we just worship God? Hallelujah. Eternal God and righteous Father, we come before your presence one more time. And we lift up Jason before you, almighty God. From his mother womb, God, you knew Jason. You know everything about him. So Father, we ask you, wherever the place he is right now, God, that you would step in, that you would intervene. Father, that you would minister to him at this time. Whatever challenges, whatever struggles, whatever it is that he's going through, you are the all-encompassing God, the everlasting God, the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Lord, I pray and I lift him up. Remember his family, those that surround him, God. Godly influences around him, God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, speak to him in a still, small voice. The way you know how to reach him, speak to him, minister to him, touch him. Whatever you need to do, God, restore him. Whatever it is, God, whatever it is, God, whatever it is, God, you are more than capable, more than able. 
We pray for the strength, healing, whatever it is that your children are going through at this time. God, we thank you and bless you because you are everything to us. Everything to us. You are everything to us and more. So we thank you and we bless you. As we prepare our hearts at this time to bless you and honor you. Lord God, help us to remember to be faithful. You have been so faithful to us, almighty God. You have been so kind to us. And we just want to thank you. We can never pay you. No amount of money could ever pay you or pay our way into heaven. But we honor you with our lives. We give ourselves to you. And we come to bless your house. So thank you for pouring out your blessings upon us. Thank you for health and strength. Thank you for provision. Thank you for opening up doors. Thank you for blessing our families. Thank you, oh God, that there is no lack or want, but everything that we need, you provide for us. We honor and we bless you in Jesus' name. As you prepare to come, we're going to bless the Lord. We're going to give to him. And we're going to walk on up and give to him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just come and walk and up and bless the Lord and give him. Come on and just bless the Lord and give him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the My heart sings His praise. Let us just stand to our feet at this time. Hallelujah, yeah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, yeah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, yeah, praise His praise again. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, praise Hallelujah. 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 
give him the highest praise. seated in the house and while you're sitting down just testify to somebody and says my lips shall praise him in Jesus name you may be seated in the house in one accord thank God for unity I say thank God for unity There's something about being unified that it brings out something in the group for unified group. When a group or a company is unified, there's no source that can stop them from achieving their goal. Come hell or I water. Nothing can stop them. If some wrong doors are unified to go do some wrongs and, and they shake hands and speak in others spirit and heart nothing will stop them. They're going for it. The end result may not be what they expected, but they were unified. Lord, help me today. There were some people that was rebellious against, against God and, and they were building the Tower of Babel. And they were so unified that bricks by bricks and block by block and stone by stone, they were heading for heaven. Because what the man at the bottom realized, if he doesn't take up his block, then the guy at the top won't be able to catch the block to go a little higher. But God gives them a little time to go and to see how far they will because that's the God we serve, you know. I think he's a God like what my mama would tell me, long run, short cage. 
Can any mama ever say that to you? Can run as much as you want, but you're going to come to bed tonight. And you're going to come for dinner too. There ain't nowhere in the village that you can go for dinner too far away to town. The essence are if the church, somebody said the church. Somebody said the body of Christ. If we ever, somebody said if we ever. Unite ourselves. Come on, they said unite ourselves. There is no telling what you and I can achieve in God. Amen, somebody. So, amen, somebody. That's why in the beginning there was triune. The mini hall believe in one thing. That's why in the apostles' doctrine there was also triune for baptism. Amen. That's why I believe that if the church of the living God today, right where you're sitting, right in the house, if we have ever come in here on a Sunday morning or in a Lord's Day United. In spite of they use some steel to hold this roof. The thrusters to hold them together. In spite of how many nails and ties that they put to hold it. If we ever come in here in the spirit united. We will see these roof vibrate. If we ever come in here united, we'll see the tears of people just flowing down when we get into worship. Huh. If we come in here united, my goodness, all the musicians on these pieces of instrument, every devil in here would have fly out after the anointing. Unity is strength. And the men and the building the Tower of Babel, if God didn't say enough was enough, they would have reached heaven. But God says, no, this is my throne and earth is my footstool. So you stay right there. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Glory to God. But we are still fighting on. We are still running this race. We are still trotting. Glory to God. And there's something that Paul teaches us. He tells us that this race is still not for the swift. Neither the battle for the strong. But for all of us that endure to the end. Somebody said endure to the end. For behind every frowning providence, God is hiding a smiling face. Somebody wrote sometime, someplace, and they said, if you're going through your hell, don't stop because the danger going through is not that you won't go through your hell, but if you stop. Ah, Jesus. The danger is stopping in hell. But keep on going, will you? Lions are growl, but keep on going. Heats are turn up high, but keep on going. The vice is cranking up, but keep on going. Hallelujah. There is a unified bunch that are still left here on earth that are praying with you, praying for you, and are praying around you. Come on, give the Lord a hand in the house. As Reverend Davidson have already just reiterate here on Saturday at 8 o'clock, as many can get here at 8.45, in reviewing right here, followed by the service. Amen. 
for our late Deacon Bertram Williams and looking forward for a wonderful send off. Amen. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Turn the Bible with me to Second Timothy. Don't go too far. I don't think I'm going to preach too long today because we have a lot of couple of things that, amen, some rehearsal got to take place just after Women's um, Sunday. And God bless you, woman. Amen. A Faith United Ministry again, Reverend Davidson. Of said it, glory to God, loud and clear. Amen. Let's support your woman, will you? Amen. Don't follow the one then where that will say, you see that one there? Nobody have nothing to do with that one there. No follow them in. Amen. Them. Amen. Just read it a couple of minutes ago that they have their reward. Amen, somebody. Amen. You just do what you need to do for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Positive to bless your brother and your sisters in Christ because on this side of heaven it can be cold sometimes. Amen. And some of the things that cause it to be ice box and cold is because of Amen. How others would behave with others. Amen. But it takes a man or a woman of God. You, 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 know, you know, all of us don't come up don't come up strong overnight in, in Christendom, you know. No, man. No, man. Some all when them see for 100 years, them don't come up, but at least they're still on the main line. They're still trodden. So we pray for them. All right. Amen. Glory to God. So, Second Timothy chapter 4, I read a couple of verses of scripture and follow me here. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Is that what your Bible says? Who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Somebody said preach the word. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Somebody says sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Nah, that's something you pick up up at Walmart. Uh -huh, man. But after their own loss, God, they will not endure sound doctrine. Shall they heap to themselves teachers of an itching ears? They shall turn away the ears from the truth. And the truth is sound doctrine also. Amen. And shall be turned to fables. You know what I'm saying? So, fables, something that will just take him through the night. But the next morning they are miserable again. But it's only God can soothe the sorrow. Only God can heal the wound. So only God can drive away the fears. Verse 5. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Jump down here to verse 9. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescent I sent to Galatia, Titus under Dalmatia, only Luke is with me. Take Mark 
and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Hallelujah. Share your space in the kingdom of God. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. So share your space in the kingdom of God. That's the vision for 2024. Hallelujah for Faith United Ministry, this body, this ministry. Amen. This organization, share your space, people. Thank God for those of you that are, amen, that are willing in whatever means and air that you are to help to build the kingdom of God. Thank God for you. Amen. We read over there, believe in Corinthians, that we all have different gifts. Amen. There are fruits of the Spirit, and there are also nine gifts of the Spirit. And there are also gifts of helps, gifts of government, gifts of administrators. Amen. In the kingdom of God. So God bless all of you that have your hand and something, amen, and are doing something to enhance the kingdom of God here on earth. As Jesus mentioned in St. Matthew, as it is in heaven. God bless you. And we talked last week and been on it for two weeks concerning, amen, different disciples bringing disciples to Jesus. Glory to God and, and how Jesus met some of them even since they were, before they were conceived in their mother's womb. Like Nathaniel. You all remember that one, right? Uh-huh. I think he was one of them that asked if there's any good thing that can come out of Nazareth. And one of the young men, one of the, the young men just said, yeah, come look, come see. Come see, man. Come see with your own eyes. You know, there are going to be people like these, eh? Of what? Eh? You, you, you tell me how your church is functioning and what's happening around here. Amen. We don't, we don't, amen. We, we, we are not bad news carriers. We are good news carriers. We just tell them to come and see. Amen. And if they presses us, amen, we say, yeah, man, Jesus still says, he keeps and he's satisfied. And we can still tell them that Jesus is in the house. Just come and see. And I guarantee you, heading into this house, anybody that walks in this house from the 1st of December 1991 can never say they have never been blessed. 34 years. Amen. Because from day one, we're not a joke around here. So. Is that a name in somebody? You know, I joke around here. We are Pentecostal. Somebody said Pentecostal. And in the world, they call us charismatics. They say, you're happy. You're happy people. But thank God for being in the happy group. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So every time you walk in here, doesn't care which service, I guarantee you, you're going to be blessed. Amen. Because there's a special level of anointing that is resting upon this place. Glory to God. And as God continues to, to build people and to call people and to place people in different areas, amen, glory to God. He, 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 he's expecting us to, amen, to, 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 to show and to teach and to bring others up accordingly, amen, to teach others, amen, and to share our space. Amen, somebody. So we bless God for that. Amen. Because the, the Lord is, is, is in the midst of us, as David said. <laughs> and he shall bless her right early. Amen. David said, kingdom rage, he uttered in voice, and even the very earth melted. Amen. He went on to say, somebody else come taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. So when we invited the church, bless your brother and there's a, I believe a brother down there, God bless you, uh, young man. 
I was invited to in church. When we invited the church, we invited the church to come and see. Amen. Hallelujah. Come and see. Amen. If there's a good thing that can come out of Faith United Ministries, 24 Densley Avenue, come and see. That's why I that's why I I I encourage my, my leaders to you, you stay you stay hot at all times. Because you, you'll never know who will show up in your midst. Amen, somebody. Is that an amen, somebody? Because you got a lot of people are looking for something different. You got a lot of people are looking for a, a bread that tastes different. Amen. You got a lot of people are looking for some Kool Aid that is mixed different. Amen. You got some people that are looking for some drink. Glory to God that we can deliver that comes from the fountain of the Holy Spirit that is different from everywhere else. Is that an amen, somebody? Is that an amen, somebody? It's not like we are different from everybody else, but there's something about you and you and you and you and you and you is that you are a focused person. Amen. And you have an objective. Amen. Somebody, you know what you want and you know where you're going. And the only person that can help us to get there is the Lord Jesus Christ. So here we, we, we find a, 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 a brother, I would call him a brother by the name of Paul. Amen. And, I, and I, I just read here, glory to God, that amen, he, he, he was a prodigy. And, and I told you last week when I, amen, when I springboard this thing is that, amen, Paul was not being hated because of he being a busybody person. He was being hated because he preached the gospel. Hallelujah. But there was something, there was something about the resilience of this Amen, brother. And I call him a brother, you know, because um, blah, 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 I call him a brother because just uh, at conversion, amen, I believe it was uh, um, uh, Jesus told um, um, what his name to go pray for him at the receiver side. And he went in and he called him Brother Paul. Amen. What was it again? It was not Cornelius. No, Cornelius came after. It was um, Ananias. Yeah, that's the one. Ananias, he said, you, you go pray for him, Ananias. But Ananias said, listen, I heard so much about that wretch. <laughs> and y'all don't look on me. You was a wretch before God saved you too. Uh, 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 talk to me, somebody. Amen. There ain't nobody want to touch you before the Lord saved you. Amen. Everybody running scared of you. Ain't that true? Well, it's your bishop. I wasn't like that. Amen. Once you was... Born in sin and shape and iniquity. Amen. You are the heart of Paul. Until you met the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, talk to me, somebody. So the Lord said, uh, uh, Ananias, you go because he is, he is there praying. Amen. He's there praying. He's there praying. You know, after God knocked him off his eye horse. Somebody said, I horse. You know, I, I wish God sometime would take some of us who have been in church a long time, amen, and still on our low horse and knock us off our low horse. So we come to reality. Glory to God to know that God is real. Amen. And there's a calling of God in our life. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Amen. And when Jesus knocked him off, when the Lord knocked him off, he said, Who art thou, Lord? And then God blind him then. What did God blind him then for? Because he was touching the Christians. Oh, you're not saying nothing here to me. No, I'm talking about his past coming into future. Amen. But when a person does not know the right from wrong, amen, they'll do any and anything. But when they know the right things to do, they're going to do the right thing. And it is not that Paul did not know, amen, or have any indication or inclination of who Jesus was because he's from the Jewish sect and so he read the scroll and he, he hear about it coming from Isaiah, coming from everybody, amen. But he just want to prove to his friend that he is a bully in the schoolyard. Madan, man from the town where I come from, Spanish town. He just wants to prove to everybody. And, and I want to tell you something about a lot of these people, bullies in the schoolyard. They are the, they are the first one for run. If they see three more people, amen, stronger than them. And a bully that, a coward them there. If they're a really bu bully, guess what they will do? Turn up. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I don't tell you I go up here today. 
They want to stand up and fight. Uh -huh. But they're still coward. There's something in them telling them that me no one get beat up. Me just want proof to the rest of my entourage, you know, that I am strong. I, I, or, I want, or, or I need to carry the crown. Oh, you got what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I, I, I need to be on top. So I, I need to carry. So, so, so they will say, okay, you go on. You go on. Cho. Hey, hey, cho, bro. Go, go on. Cho, cho. Tell him, man, hey, 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 dog, watch it, man. Run, dog, jump. <laughs> oh, I know some of you understand them kind of lingua. <laughs> I see, I see these two sisters are shaking them head. What in heaven, Bishop, saying? Where did God get this man from? So, so not that they want to fight, but they want to stand out and to prove to others. Amen. Glory to God. But, but, but here come a, 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 a young Jewish man by the name of um, Saul. And, and, and he heard in the early days that the church, the people were... But we're just coming together in, in unity and in fellowship and the church was growing and people were just loving each other. They were just going from house to house breaking bread with singleness of heart and, 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 and the power of God come down then in the early church and it filled the church and, and in Acts it telling me up to 3,000 souls will get, will got saved in one day. Glory to God. But, but here comes the opposition. Somebody said the opposition. Uh -huh. Somebody said the one who don't want to hear sound doctrine. Come on. The ones who do not want to hear sound doctrine. So they will heap upon themselves teachers having itching ears, And they will turn from the truth and turn to. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, man, but, but, but God knocked the man down. Uh, right off, I'm high horse, she said. Uh, when he lick him down, him, him lick him down when, when he knock him down, he's he blind. And, and uh, all of us go out and lick down, pound my back and we blind, you know. Some of you have broke with foot, some of you have broke with hand, some of you have broke with back. Some of you have slip out of spine, some of us going coming like Jacob. Walk with a limp. Because the angel touch him. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Jesus. Can somebody say, hey, man, in here? And I think I'm going to preach you long. Can somebody say, hey, man, today? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 uh, thank you, thank you, minister. Whatever you have to do, Lord, to get my attention. You go ahead and... But how many of us like that or love that? Not too many of us. Uh-huh. Because Jesus said, if any man is going to come after me, let him take up his cross and follow me. Uh-huh. And some people don't understand what this cross is. And don't mix it up with crosses. Because God don't give nobody crosses to carry. Only the devil do that. Oh, talk to me or somebody. <laughs> what God gives you is joy and peace and happiness in the Holy Ghost. What God gives you is a peace that passes all understanding so you can carry. What he gives you is a word so you can share glory to God. What he gives you is a hand to reach out and to bless. It's a mouth to speak positive things. It's a life that will live for him. That's what he gave. So he knocked the man down and amen and blind him for three days. So his, his entourage had to lead him to the right place. Amen. And after three days, was there, it was a wondering, oh my goodness, what are my friends saying about me now? Somebody's going to take my place as a darn man in the town. Yeah, yeah, as a bully in this. No, no, no. But God, watch this. God had wanted him for something special. And if you read all of his epistle and his writing, God had wanted him for something special. And what that was, that was to take the gospel. Somebody say good news. 
And that's what gospel means. To take the gospel to the next level. Oh, glory to God. He said Jesus was his protege. And Jesus had to get out of here. And get back to go sit at the right hand of the daddy. He didn't want the work of God to continue. But they said, he said, he said, he, he knock him, well, he knocked him off first. And, and then he blind him. And then they lead him to a house. So he can go get refreshed and get some. Uh, uh, last week I left off and said, God's a God of humor, you know. Amen. God's a God of humor, you know. Sometimes it looks like there's some areas that, uh, um, that go through some water, through some floods, through some fire, and they look like we're done for. God knows what he's doing if you're a child of God. For those that he loves, he chases. Oh, Jesus. And he's even scourged them, amen, like a daddy to a son. Oh, because okay. so sometimes when we're going through, we look at spiritual scourging and, and chastening of the Lord. It said the chastening of the Lord is not grievous, amen, but at the end it will be a peaceable fruit of righteousness. So if we, if, if we, if we are conscious of God, this is you, do whatever you just say. God, this is you, do whatever pleases you. Hey, I am flexible because sometimes God wants to take it to the next level. Oh my gosh. He wants to take it to the next level. There's some job today, I understand. Amen. That if, if you want to be, uh, um, to go to the next level there, they may call you in the office to interview you over again, just like what they did 20 years ago. And sometimes the interview may not be as lovely, even though you're rubbing shoulder with the same people, eating lunch with them and sitting before them. But now it's in a different form. They want to help you to go to the next level. My God, I love that. But how many of us do love that? How many of us want to be chasing of the Lord? Amen. Because those that he love, he's going to chase you and he's going to run after you. Amen. Because there's a work for you to do. Amen. He said we must build his kingdom here on earth. As he has done it into heaven. Share in your space. In the kingdom of God. So let him knock the man down man. And lead him to go. Let him get refreshed. Until I find Ananias. Mm -hmm. Later on. Amen. Ah, you mean that Paul there? I heard of him Lord. Listen, Ananias, don't talk back. Just move. Hey, hey, but Lord, whoa. I hear, I, I, I heard of him. <laughs> of how many Christians in the early church that he put into prison with his entourage and also killed? The man was a murderer. And I was afraid of him too. But under the anointing of the power of God, I think I would have stand up to him. Because when you know that, you know that, you know that the Lord has called you and his anointing is on your life. Ain't no devil in hell can shift you out of the hand of God. They that love their life shall lose it. And they part shall lose their life till my sake shall find it. If you read the same passage here, Paul said, Look, now I'm ready to die. But I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I kept. Watch this. You could fight from now like Muhammad Ali and and Joe Fraser and what was the other one name again? Him too. You could fight from no, but you see, it's not the fight, glory to God, to, to, to be able to hurt your brother or your sister. It's the fight where you and your brother and your sister come together to beat upon the devil. Oh, glory to God, to bring some cinnamon out of the palm of the devil hand. Amen. And to help them to make heaven their home. Glory to God. So the, 
God blind the man because there was a purpose. Someone said a purpose. Every one of you that are watching and listening to me, you are a purpose. I said, every one of you that are listening, we are a purpose. There's a song I used to sing a long time. I heard it from the States about 50 years ago. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise. With a capital P. I'm a great big bundle of potentiality. And if I listen, I'll hear God's voice. And if I try, I'll make the right choice. I'm promised to be everything you want me to be. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You are a promise. Go to your test. You are a possibility. You are a promise with a capital P. You're a great big bundle of potential because you have it in you. No man come to Jesus Christ and remain the same. No man comes to God and remains the same. If you come blind, you're going to see. And if you come deaf, you're going to hear. And if you come crippled, you're going to walk. And if you bring your heen in a cash cat, you're going to get up. Oh, glory to God. Shall no man come to God and remain the shame? I hear a lot of Christians say, Lord Bishop, I don't know this, this, this pathway is hard. There's nothing hard with this pathway. And it is still not a flower bed of Eve. Uh -uh. Because Jesus didn't have it easy. His 12, 13 disciples never have it easy. Paul never have it easy. All of Paul's disciples and people that he won to Christ and set them up. I'm going to tell about some of them. Them never have it easy. No, but they prepare themselves. And they know that they know that they know. Amen. That those who ever had called them is able to keep them from falling and to present them faultless before the throne of God. And the only person who could have done that is the only wise God. Uh -huh. Our Savior, majesty, and power, both now and forevermore. And the church said, So the man want the man for to share him gift than in talent, man. Uh -huh. And watch this, watch this. Watch this one. I know y'all. Are you probably exalting it? And y'all know this, and you can recite it. I forget you up here like our uh, next Sunday coming Black History Month. You can recite it. Paul was the spiritual trailblazer. Louis Bennett was. Back then in the culture. But in the spiritual, he was a spiritual trailblazer for us. I, if any preacher that you will hear from here or before, anyone that you will listen to two or three times, they will call Paul name. Paul messages are showing up. Uh -huh. Why? Because I say he's my spiritual trailblazer. How about you? Amen. And a lot of us get inspiration from reading his epistle. A lot of us get inspiration from just reading how he was born spiritually. A lot of us get inspiration from, from even how God knocked him down. A lot of us even shape our lives differently after we read how God lick him down and blind him. That's why a lot of us Christians are walking so careful. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Yeah. I, saw, I saw a lot of us still you know, walking so careful after we read about Paul. Amen. The trailblazer, spiritual trailblazer. Glory to God. The walks are careful. Come on, talk to me, somebody. 
Amen. So we. So the, God want him for a purpose. But spring ahead here. Is his calling was designed, orchestrated, ordained to be. There's none that could have, um, take Paul's place before or after. Paul was special. Yes, he, he, exactly. He, 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 he was, he, he was, he, he, the man was real goal, like Nathaniel. Amen. God him a long time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So God needs to set him up a long time. Hear me. There's some, there's some calling in our lives. A lot of us are evident that there's a calling in our lives. You got to be careful how you run from God and run from them calling. Listen, it may sound menial, but if he call you to be a usher at the door, you better stand up there and hush. I don't mean to keep him all closed. Do what you're asked to do. Because the servant is not greater than his master or vice versa. And if he calls you, glory to God, to push a vacuum in his house, do it with grace and simplicity. Do it with love. Amen. Do it with everything in your heart. Do it like old Samuel was asked to light the candle so the prayer people can come into your heal. I give them a word. Oh my goodness. There's absolutely no calling that are menial in the kingdom of God. Amen. It's just that we look at it. Well, I think I can do better than that. Yeah, if you could, the Lord would have put you there. But in other words, my Lord, to stay where you are and work on that one. Amen. And watch the Lord put you up later on a pedestal. I'm talking the truth. Because there's something when we invest spiritually in God, God will pay you. He will reward you. He will reward you. Amen. A, 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 a million fold over when you become obedient. Obedient. You eat the good of the land. Amen. The backbite and rebel. You know the word. What it says about that one day. God will take you to the next level in him. So don't worry about anybody else that you see. Look at them. They just come but they're running. And we pastors and leaders have a lot of that in, in our churches. Uh -huh. We can most all the shit back and say, I've been here since the day Noah built the ark. Yes, I've been here since Noah built the ark. And look who came later on and passed me. You were asked to build the ark. Build the ark first. Because there could be eight people that you need to carry to safety. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Holy God. Build the heart in obedience first. And then you and your wives and your sons and their wives eat on her. Plus little me, me, boo, boo, quack, quack. Grunt, grunt. God going to need to replenish later. God, get it. God will you get this a preacher for? <laughs> Listen, I come up on the rough side of the mountain. I come up listening to country preachers from a little tiny age, from a little teeny weenie and a grow. Since them I lick tambourine out a door. Some are sing, some are... <laughs> 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 and 
So when God, so, 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 so when the Lord, can, can I just chit chat here soon, Senor? Can I just chit chat here a little bit? The man who come right two thirds of the New Testament of the gospel. The man who said, I fought a good fight. I'm good fight, that you know. No man, no man, no man. If you do not know you start to nothing yet, you can't say you know one fight, man. No, 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 no. You can't say that, man. No, that, that say that thing on nobody hears, but then hear. You know what good fight is? Good fight you have to come out with some wound, some black eye. And some punch because you get punched. It's a listen. This thing is a blow and a counter blow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. People that fought in the army, in any army, and especially in the United States, you see that we're something here called a purple. What the purple? Purple heart. Why? Because they were wounded in battle, and they only get that. So three thousand of them could have been out there. And fighting enough of them dead, enough of them dead, enough of them dead. They, the dead one are getting a purple heart. And the one we're getting foot blow off, and hand blow off, and shoulder blow off, and come oh, oh my the paraplegic in a wheelchair. And him get the purple heart because he survived the war. Lord Jesus. He survived the bullets. Not the one that died, they don't get purple heart. No, no, no. The family will get the flag fold up together and hand it back to them nicely. That can do not, not all. Just go put it on, keep watching it. But the one who was wheeling in a wheelchair. Wounded and bruised and amen. And somebody had to bring him in on their shoulder. Amen. A while ago, but he was still. And, and, and their fellow men are saying, oh, hold on, soldier, you're going to live. Half him limbs gone, but hold on, soldier, you're going to live. Two of him hand gone, hold on, soldier, you're going to live. And, uh, and it look like a soldier, we can't hear you. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> you're going to live. Wounded and bruised, but you're going to live. <laughs> you, can, you fight uh, amen. You, you, even, if, even if you was forced in the war amen you, you went to war and you come home even if you go voluntarily you did it on your own accord but now you're still alive even though there's not much left for you but the government will stand with you but you get a purple heart and it's truth is and as truth is, me rather coming back home, I jump and skip, and go get a purple heart. And y'all don't look at me and so sanctimony say, no, Bishop, I'd rather get the purple heart. No talk so quick. Uh huh, you would rather that. Can you have to go to Walmart and go to Costco? <laughs> and especially if you have family, you have to carry them to the kids to school. Should life become be, become transformed then? <laughs> but here was Paul. Somebody said, Paul. Who art thou, Lord? Eh? Say me know God. He knew God before. Even if him never go, go to the temple, go pray, him know God can, can hear other people talk about God. And I know God can be loving and God can be nice and God can be a God of, uh, of vengeance. But who art thou, Lord? Boy, that was some kind of lick down on him back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of prayer there? That one that reached the, the ears of God quick, man. And I imagine God, 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 God just say from heaven, I am God. But you was crucifying my people. You was, you was confining some to prison. You was confining some to their death. Uh -huh. But I am God. You, you see how great I am. You see what I can do better than you, Saul. But as of today, I'm going to turn you around. You're going to be poor. 
you're going to be a rock. You're going to be tough. <laughs> because there's a lot, Paul, that you need to bring out of this thing. In other words, you, you're going to be one of the first examples here. <laughs> Amen. You're going to have more testimony than anybody else. If you think Peter had it after Pentecost when he stood up and said, this is that which has spoken of the prophet. In the last days I pour my spirit up on all flesh. You sound the daughter prophet. Young men see vision and all your old men dream. If you think you, 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 you're going to be up, no, you're going to be greater than Peter. You're going to be Paul. You're going to be Paul. And in other words, Paul, if, if, if you want to be really Paul and really a doctrine man and carry the single I'm going to put you through the ringer. Hear me? Anybody that you see great today in any era of society, whether it's in, it's in the secular or the spiritual or financial society, they've been through something. And then that's why we find you have more critics at the end of the day. Fine. Oh, look at you. I know your mother and your father. They were carpenters. But look at you in October. You're your president. I never forget it. I never forget it. Just come to me now. Go share this one. I, I, I never forget it when, amen, when, when God spoke, when God decided to take Bishop Fuller, amen, to another level in this ministry, amen, and I decided to take it to, amen, to, 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 to the level where it's at the, at the beginning, and when I share my vision with a, with, 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 with a lot of people, some of you wouldn't remember anyway, some of you wouldn't remember, even have to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you, amen, because I'm not a, a chatterbox. I take your own key point. Make you figure it out. I got give you a puzzle. Sister Fuller can't figure out puzzle good because she always have a puzzle book I work on. Me get the puzzle book all one year, me still up on one 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 assignment. But when God wants to take you up to the next level. Huh? When God wants to take your children of God, do not underestimate yourself as who you are. Do not. Do not. It's just that God amen, will look at your availability. It's not your ability, God, look at it now. But you could preach like Paul and sing like angel and tell the love of Jesus and say he died for all. You could talk like that, but if you don't put all of that into practice, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. But the man got, <laughs> somebody said, Paul. Paul got, there was a transformation that was, that until this very day, is historic. With Paul. Man. Many others got transformed, you know, even with Jesus. And you don't hear much about But the one Paul, man. You see the Paul and the Peter? The, the, you see the Paul and the Peter? Ah, man. <laughs> huh? There was something about the Peter. Is that it, it was a it was a kind of a man after God. It was like David. The Peter. Like a man after God's own heart. After Jesus' own heart. Because after Jesus rose from the dead, he said, Go tell my disciple I'm back. Come preach with me a little bit as soon as any woman. But also go look for Peter. Eh? The shame one will deny the man. <laughs> in the house where they are passing a preach and one man drop off you take us off our wind and broke your neck and, and, and then they follow that there was a trial amen glory to God and then and then and then and then them say well me, me a trial with with their pastor and they say me see you with Jesus and they say you was in there and then the man start cause Peter but but Jesus get up after and say well, if you come now that means he had value man 
there was something in him like Nathaniel. Oh, that God said, I see from afar. And he, the Lord was saying, I see your error and I see your mistake. Uh -huh. but, but I'm going to forgive you of them error and the mistake if you're willing to follow me. Yeah, man, sometimes we have to make some promise to God, you know, for him to take us out of some things. He, I mean it, he wants, he wants to bless you and take you to the next level. But sometimes we have to make some promise to God, you know, and mean it. Amen. I, I, I think I, I think over there in Proverbs said it's only a fool that will make promise and don't keep up. Uh huh. Yes, man. Yeah, man. But if you make some promise to God, yeah, man. And and, and here, here here's a little little knock of it. Making promise, nothing is wrong with that. Especially when we are conscious of it. But you know some promise. It, you know what promise. You know what promise means. I will pay back. You know what the signature and the loan mean. You know what the signature mean. You don't have to write the words. I will pay you back. It's binding. Even if you know read all them fine print. Even if in them fine print it and says we, we tell you it's two point five percent. And then you go home and sign it and you read it and say it's 28 by 8 percent. You can't carry it back because you have already signed it. And they're going to say, well, oh, we are sorry. You should have read it. Because some of them are, some of them are fine printer. You need a magnifying glass to read it. Not only that, but you, you need a, 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 need one, a coke back of glass to read it. Coke back of glasses, you know what that one is? You put it on, my goodness gracious, and, you, and your eyes are by the door. People are wondering what I'm, what's going on. It's called a coke back of glass. <laughs> Come on and say, yeah, man, no man. Yeah, man. So, okay, hey, man. <laughs> a friend of ours, Lord help me on that one. I, get, I, I, I will share to this somebody. A friend of ours, knowing him good, he had surgery on his eyes. You're laughing already, and I don't say anything yet. Can you imagine what's coming, right? So he, he, a friend of, 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 I love, we, we know him a long time, from the old country. He, he do some work at our church here, years back too. So he had some surgery on both of his eyes. And so he called my, my brother, Elder Fuller, and he says, Neville. I know my, my brother ain't Neville, right? I know he called him Fuller. He said, Fuller, we want me to do the surgery now. And full of, at 10 o'clock, this you know, I'm inside, and when we look out the door, coming like a daylight. <laughs> ah, he said, I look out the door at 10 o'clock in the night, and it look like it's daylight. Because of the eyes. <laughs> Thank God for technology. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Thank God for technology. <laughs> uh, but Paul, begin to preach the gospel. When I said the brother, when I said the brother did wicked before and gets, why may I tell the man? I said, listen, Jesus said, I come not to call the righteous, follow me here, but sinners to repentance. God not calling the righteous people. Describe the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and you all name them. They were righteous. They, they were people like get out there in the street and they were they take them a mic. They didn't have a microphone then, but they errored it loud. And when they pray them loud, man, they loud. You could have you could have step, you could have stepped on Larry and say, hear them a prayer. <laughs> Jesus look on them, oh hypocrites. Jesus said, Yo, you whitewash supper, 
inside good but outside inside good look outside good but inside look like dead man born lord jesus and i preached me <laughs> so you just say what this i say i know you all hypocrite outside look good and you fix up outside because you pray you pray that people will hear you pray that people no what listen to me there's absolutely nothing wrong in crying aloud and pray nothing wrong in that but when you have to do it for a show something wrong in the one day eh? when you have to do it for people to hear you something wrong in that eh? one person praying scripture in front of jesus and all he said is a couple of words about seven words Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. <laughs> and the man of favor, God. Seven words he prayed. Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. But watch it. They have some that can, can pray, my goodness, and I have some going in here, that can pray the power down, and you need to do that because there are some, 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 some hell dog about. He may wear some little, um, some, some little how a father prayer can run them out of your house and out of your life. You need to get down into sackcloth and ashes. You need to have a good talk with Jesus, and you need to tell him all about your trouble. You need to tell him all about your sorrows. And them kind of prayer can run some situation from around you. You have to say, Lord, you have to holler. Lick all the platform wood and in the door. Lord, I need your help. help. Lord, I need your help. Help. Nothing wrong in, Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. Nothing wrong in that one. It's a can't they add. But if you're old, step on fire. You turn up the end of the 20th, 20th floor and I said, please, will somebody help me? I, I look up. I, 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 I look up here. I look up here. Look up where? Help! Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Somebody must hear you. I said, somebody must hear you. Somebody must hear you. If I hear you from the 19th floor, amen, somebody will hear you. Help, man. Someone is helping the house. I tell, I tell you something else too. Take this up another notch. It be a Holy Ghost. As the father of the Bible said, pity it, his children. So the Lord pity it, them that fear him. Do you know that in the mind of a parent, parent in a house of children, the children don't have to ask for sneakers or a pants because the parents already see that. But it would be nice if it, you hear them say, mommy or dad, can you buy me pants or can you buy me? Right? Do you know in the mind of God that he knows all of our struggles and what we need even before we ever ask. Because it's in Bible. It's in scripture. But there's a difference with God now is that because we can, we can, we, 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 uh, three human beings, spiritual and body, our flesh part. We can sometimes be, be, be selfish in our undertaking. But there are also times, even though God knows our need before we do, sometimes he wants to make sure that he is superior in our lives. Because we don't just go on to ask him when we need something. He wants to know that we are going to be there after he gives us something. 
So that's why we ask and you shall receive. That's why I said seek and you shall find. That's why it says knock and it shall be open unto you. Because everyone that asks will receive. And he that seeketh it will find. And to him that knock it, it shall be open unto you. God knows your needs and mine before we do. But sometimes we want to make sure that you're on his side and he's on your side. Because you have, some of us can't use the brains, you know. Hey, hey, man, can we can use some brains, you know? Yeah. Hey, man, some brains, I mean, I mean, try putting one over on God and say, oh, but I love you, say, I love you, say. Oh, you remember last week, I knocked ears off for the raccoon? Lord, I love you, say, mwah. Mwah. <laughs> but he knows that that was lip service because your heart is a sorrow. Nah. You just want one few thousand. You want one microwave heat. One second kind of thing. But you have some time just to put in a microwave. You have to keep it in there long. Hey, glory to God. You have to put fire underneath it. But some show the water. Some show the flood. Some show the fire. But all show the blood. Some show great sorrow. But God gave the song in the night season. Are you looking at me like that? Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say praise the Lord. Come on, jump up on your feet and give the Lord a praise if you can in the house. Come on, if you can, if you can, that's all right. Give the Lord a praise in the house. Your step are harder by the Lord. Hold on my steps in your word. Teach me, guide me every day. Send your anointing. Father, I pray. Hold on my steps in your word. Someone say, hold on my steps, Lord. Hold on my steps, Lord. Come on, Chief. Come on, Chief. Hold on my steps in your word. Teach me. Guide me every day. Let your anointed Father, I pray, order my steps in the word. Come on, somebody worship the Lord right now. Come on, right where you are. Right where you are, just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord where you are. Paul's step was harder. Uh huh. Even from even in his sinful life, his step was harder. Lord, look on one prophet. I said, I know you from your mother's womb before you were born. Uh -huh. I know that you're born. I anoint you. Uh -huh. And I call you to be a prophet. Lord Jesus. Uh, Shema, you in the house, you have something inside of you. You just need to let, let it out. Somebody say, let it out. Come on, somebody say, let it out. You have it inside of you. Let it out. Give it to God. Let him take it over from there. You have it inside of you. Don't shit on it, man. Let it out. Get to your elders. Get to your leaders, man. And share your, 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 your vision. Share what you have inside of you. Amen. So the Paul can help the Timothy Hopper. Amen. To strengthen your vision. Jesus, clap your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, man. I feel like I feel like going on. Oh, 
Messiah has come, Lord. And every hand left, right, and center. East, west, north, and south. In front of me, behind me. Oh, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to trot on. Stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Behind every frown and providence, the Lord is hiding a smiling face. There is water at the end of the rainbow. Hey, keep on going, Lord. I'm not going to stop now. Go, go, try and come, Lord. On every head. Don't stop if you're going to your hell, but <laughs> oh Jesus. Some of you may say this is more that I can be here. No, it's not. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him take up his cross daily. This could be your cross that you're carrying. But the Lord is right there to help you. Oh, Lord. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. going. I feel like Ostracize. Put down. Shaming. Like when you're listening for the right, you're hearing the wrong. God didn't promise you a flowery bed of ease. He didn't promise you that the journey was going to be easy. But what he promises you is going to be dear with you as he was with Paul. As he was with Timothy. As he was with Paul's disciples. John disciples. And as he was with his Jesus' his disciples. He's with you. He is passed in the heaven. And can be touched. With the feeling of your infirmity. Infirmity may be many. Maybe many. Infirmities may be too many. Too much. Lord, I, I can't manage. Yes, you can. Just hold on. Lord, I can't go any further. Just hold on. If you can't hold on, hang on. Can't help us on the way. Sing it one more time. I feel like going on. Ah, Jesus. Oh, 
Mando. Shires come. Every hand. I feel. Feel like go. Go. Thank you. Well, I feel like going on. For those of you that will be watching this service, at the time when you will be watching it, this is another word today from the throne of God. Reminding you if you are saved. That there is a responsibility. There is a mandate to you. To share your experience. Share your space. Help a struggling seaman. He tell us in his word that we must go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. This is the bishop coming to you from Faith United Ministries. We're coming from 24 Densley Avenue in the city of Toronto. If you don't have a church home. Come on back and worship. Our phone number is 416. At the bottom right of your screen. You see the phone number and the name of the church. 245-3340. Heaven bless you. And the church of the living God. Today is your day. God has never sent a word without confusion. Firming it with signs and wonders following. Some of you over the next couple of days or even before we leave here, the Spirit of the Lord is going to reveal to you. Amen. Your responsibility and your calling in the kingdom of God. Rest assured, church. That he who has begun a good work in you is able to perform it until the coming of Jesus Christ. You'll never leave you nor forsake you. And if he started the work, he's going to finish it. Lord, cover your people today. Right here we pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus.